salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. You already seen the thumbnail. Let's get right into the damn video. Why I don't really like want to date. I'm scared of dating again because it's not cute. I've been in so many situations where I would think just because a guy wants to sleep with me, it means he likes me. And I'm not going to lie to you. Being a big girl does contribute to this a lot. Okay. A lot of big girls are sexualized. A lot of big girls are seen as fetishes. Go on Pornhub and you see we have a whole category for BBW. A lot of men. There's, there's categories for everything on those websites. What are you talking about? We are, we, we're all adults here. There's categories for everything, just not BBWs. There's categories for everything. We're all grown and we know that already. But if you, you're going to sit here and tell me you actually thought that if men slept with you, that actually meant they like you. You have a lot of growing up to do. There's chicks that are 20 times better than you that men sleep with and they don't like. They just sleep with them just to sleep with them. You should know better by now that some men do that. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Just like some women ghost us after they get what they want out of us. It's no difference. Just want to make that clear real quick. Now let's continue men want to try some freaky stuff with the big girls and i don't want to be that i've had so many men approach me on that level and losing weight does not help because i would lose weight just for that validation of men oh lose weight so you can get a good looking man no so when i lose weight and i'm still feeling so low about myself and i have low self-esteem what now i don't want to lose weight just so a man can appreciate me like I'm not being funny here, mate. But I've actually got a lot to offer, mate. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm actually... Do you know what I mean? Like, someone that actually wants love. Someone that actually... So, so if you don't want to lose weight for validation, why don't you lose weight just for health concerns? You know, you don't have to lose weight just for men to validate you. You can decide to lose weight just for health concerns. And this is what I talk about. A lot of women need validations for the most part, day in and day out. You shouldn't we you shouldn't be worried about men and their attractiveness to you if you were to lose weight. You should worry about losing weight for your goddamn self. And that's just my point of view on that. Once a genuine connection with someone, I should now lower my standards. Like I should now accept what's being given to me what i've what i've allowed guys like i would have guys call me at night time after hours just to do the doings and i feel like the one mistake that i would make is oh by the way guys it's gonna make it sound like i've been run through but i, I actually haven't guys my legs are really closed up i would have guys that would literally act like they don't know me they don't actually want to know me like outside of the thing obviously they care about what their friends think now i've had guys who would over sexualize me and compliment me and compliment how much they love big girls and how they want to rub on my stomach and how they want me to sit on their face and do all these things but when it comes to like hey like what are you looking for you looking for a relationship no not really looking for one or like we can let's go let's go on a date like we should do something okay but like i know full on well they're not going to take me on their date and when it comes to actually asking hey like what's going on are we going on a but, date but, this, but but this is my thing you're heavy we we're not going to sit up here and deny that shouldn't you i mean granted you possibly want those men to be with you long term but don't some of you women, and correct me if I'm wrong, but don't some of you big girls that want to actually stay big, don't you like it when men love the fact that you're big and that's the reason that you're staying big? Like, for instance, you stated that you want you don't want to lose weight for a man's validation. So don't you like it when a man validates you being big? Can you explain that one to me, please? Pretty, please? Hey nothing but if i was to message them and want to see you and i want to do some you know grown people stuff ho! come and see the effort these men are making i will actually feel so bad about myself guys like i've had someone recently that i did engage with and this encounter made me feel so small because i was like this guy when i would point out the red flags like him asking me what my body count is and 
so many stuff that I cannot even say on camera that I knew was a red flag. I genuinely didn't even think I would get to that position of... That's a red flag? A red flag is asking a girl that you're talking to, what's her body count? Guys, if that's a red... If, 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 if you're on a date or you're dealing with a girl and y'all decide to become serious... If she thinks that you asking her her body count is a red flag, what would you get up and do? This is the last thing you see from your boy MABW. That's not a goddamn red flag. A man can't ask you your body count if he decides to take you serious. Are you kidding me? He can't ask you granted. You women aren't going to tell the truth anyway, but you still can make up a little white lie. There's nothing wrong with that, with a man that wants to be serious with you asking you that because you women sure will ask a man that and expect the truth. Of doing what we did, but because I was going through so much and I thought, you know what, I want a bit of company and if this is what I have to do, this is what I have to do. And I know deep down I did not want to do it. I just wanted someone that I could chill with, man. Oh, that day really, that day really showed me Pepe. This guy would convince me so much that he actually liked me and I'm bugging. And oh, right, like you must be hella paranoid. How many guys have done you dirty? Boy, you're one of them now. As soon as he got the cookie, guys, this guy left. This guy left and I just went... So why do you keep giving up your cookie? See, this is the problem right here with some of you women. If you want to take giving up your cookie so serious and you don't want to tolerate that, don't even accept the men until you're deeply involved with them for about a year or two. How quick are you giving up the cookie? Or if not that, just wait until you're married. Then you know for sure a man has taken you serious. You women sit up here and get, you women, some of you, not all of you, you sit up here and you give up the cookie and then you complain about it because you gave it up in a couple of months. If it's that deep and you stand on business and principles, don't give up your cookie or your snatch until, until you get married or at least are deep enough with that man where he's actually taking you out. He's courting you outside. He's not embarrassed to be seen outside with you. Is that really that? Is it really that hard? Is it really that hard? You're going to, if you give up the cookie in a month or two, he's going to ghost you or a couple, he's going to ghost you. They don't even take you out on dates or want to be seen with you. So if they don't want to, if they don't want to take you out on dates or being, or be seen with you, don't give up your cookie. Don't give it up. Blocking his number. And you know what really angered me? I'm not going to lie to you guys. This guy was not a cutie. He was not my type at all. Obviously, this comes down to self. He, he was not your type, but you gave up the cookie. Make that one make sense to me. This guy is not your type. You're looking for guys to take you more serious instead of a fetish, but you gave up the cookie. Yeah, you have a body count. And you like it just as much as those guys like it. Stop coming online capping all the time. Stop it. Us men can redo you women's bull crap this day and age. Don't sit up here and get, don't try to get some sincerity out of people just because men aren't dating you because you believe they have a fetish with you. If that's the case, stop giving up your nookie then. Simple as that. Worth. If you're a big girl and you've been in that kind of situation where you feel like all you have to offer is your kitty box because you know full on well the dating scene for you as a big girl is just is it's, it's not looking cute. Do you have to stand on business? Like you actually have to stand on business and be firm with what it is you want and what it is you have to offer. When I used to do these little tests, yeah, a lot of you women say that and then you give up the buns. I keep telling some of you women out there, not all of you women, because it doesn't apply to all of you, but I keep telling you women out there, you have no morals or principles. You act like you stand down. This is the this is when you women stand down business. You give up the bunt and then you want to question this man about his life and tell that man that he needs to take you more serious. That's when women want to sit up here and stand down principles after they give up their buns. Some of these women will stand down business after they give bunk to you the first night. Oh, you smashed within 24 hours. Where are we going from here? You like, what? The, what? Where are we? What? 
You just gave me the buns within 24 hours. What are you talking about? I personally consider this a one night stand. I don't know what you may consider this, but I consider this a one night stand. What do you mean? Where are we going from here? I gave you my good. Shut up. Shut up already. Where? Let me give you an example. I may not always love you. One guy who claimed he liked me so much. He took me on a date. I don't know if he thought that one date was it, but he was trying to invite me to go to his house so many times. And like, listen, I know that may not be the case for some people, but I knew if I go to this guy's house, he's definitely going to try something and I do not want to go. I'll recommend so many other things outside of, you know, chilling in his house. And he just wasn't on it. Like, he would just give me so many excuses like, oh, like, you know, but you live far and I ain't trying to drive all the way there. And da -da -da. I'm thinking, is, so this is the, you claim you like me so much, but you can't even, like, I don't understand. You cannot, bro, like, you say you like me. Block him. Block him. If he doesn't want to court you outside, he doesn't want to be seen with you or take you and block him. What are you, why are you still wasting your time with him then? I don't get it. Like, why waste your time with him, with him if you know what he's about? He's only trying to get you to come to his house. He doesn't feel he lives too far for you to come there, but he feels you live too far for him to go there. You can, you, you know, you can use your brain anytime you want to. You can use your brain anytime you want to. <laughs> but you ain't trying to make the effort like into doing some normal stuff where you can actually get to know each other because i'm pretty sure that's what people do when they're trying to get to know the person that they claim that they like i will sometimes test him and i'll talk flirty and tell him like yeah like i'm free like i'm trying to see you haha <laughs> like i just got my toes done and oh, you know some guys like their fetish and their feet guys this guy did not hesitate he was voice noting me literally about to leave and get in his car I said, where are you going? So what, you think you can just come here for the quick turn, turn but you don't want to take me out? I'm starting to think I'm a sample and you just want to try me out. I'm sorry, but this whole fetish things come into place because I've seen guys where they've told me, oh, I like big girls and da 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 da. I, I, I wouldn't even bring it up and that's the first thing they would bring up. But if I was to check their search history, their dating history, they've never been with a big girl before. Bro, their type is completely different to what I look like. So now I... I'm telling you guys, this internet crap, some guys it won't, but some guys it'll get you caught up. It'll get you caught up. Honestly, in my lifetime, that's why I never really did social media. I just never did because girls will always find a way to go on your social media account for look for the things that they want to look for. That's all they use social media for. They use it as a tool to spy on other people. That's what women use social media for. Either that or to auction themselves off for the next simp. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Anytime y'all want to. Your boy MABW got time. Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. Now let's continue. I know that you're definitely trying to have a taste of me. You're trying to try me out and you're trying to do the same things that you see on Pornhub to me. I'm not a freebie. Like you can actually go do that with someone else. But you see with me, someone that actually wants a genuine connection. Someone that actually has not even felt what it feels like to actually be liked by someone. I've not actually encountered with someone who genuinely shown interest in me. Actually, I have. And I can't lie to you. These events have led me to self-sabotage, which is why I'm just trying to focus on myself. Because I've definitely pushed away some good guys just because they're shy. And just because they're taking... Uh, 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 uh. You know you done messed up, right? God damn it. You know you done messed up, right? So now you've pushed away the good guys that actually liked you. You self-sabotaged your damn self. Are you guys getting, are you guys understanding and getting her, her, her drift? She's sabotaging herself to pretty much push away the good guys. But the good guys that actually like her, she doesn't want anything with. She pushes them away. But the good guys that are, but the guys, not the good guys, but the guys that are actually dog her out, she gives them the buns. Thus, that's why us men always state that you like Pookies and Ray Rays. You like it. 
This is women's nature. You like bad boys. You like bad boys that will dust you off and keep it pushing so that you can come on the internet and actually tell a story about it. Is your boy M-A-B-W cooking or am I not cooking? <laughs> like, guys, I've been on dates where that's it. They will not expect anything from me. Next day, another date. And I'm like, mm -mm, this is too good to be true because I ain't used to this. And guess what? Where are they now? Where are they now? There's one university boy that I had and I just wish I never removed him off my bloody socials because he was shy. Guys, let me tell you one guy here. One guy, I'm, I'm always grills me for this because she's like, bro, you complain about these useless guys that want to use you. Yeah, and, and we can see it. See, I called that out before you even went to the story about your mom telling you about this. We can see where your we can see already where your story was going. Once you stated that you pushed away the good guys, everything else falls on you. That's your fault. Everything anybody else who dust you off or you feel they have a fetish of you, that's your fault. Don't blame them guys because you pushed the good guys away. So now you're going to get exactly what you get. The bad boys that want to dust you off because they may have a fetish of you. You goofy. But what about this one guy that was taking you, take you out on nice dates? Like, good date. He drives, you know, he drives. The bare minimum, the bare minimum these guys that I was craving attention for could not even do for me. But the guys that were sure interested in me, I was not even interested in them. Do you know how, like, I don't understand. Let me tell you. This Women always have regret. Now you have regret. Stupidity has reached its final form. You're looking at her. One guy I went on a date with. To, I was in uni, so this was like 2021, all right? These times I lost weight. I was still a thick girl. Guys, I was looking good, actually. And I was still feeling a bit insecure in them things there. Met him on an ACS group chat. ACS is basically African Caribbean society for, you know, the black people them that go to the uni that, you know, you can unite and, you know, get to know people. So he met me through there, added me on Snap, and I was like, oh, she's not really a bit of me. Do you get what I'm saying? But he was so keen on taking me out. He was like, you're pretty, I want to take you out. He took me out, met him in real life. Oh my God, guys. I was so nervous because the way he came out and gave me a hug and was like, you look nice. And he opened the car door for me and I went inside that car and we went to she was meant to go to an Italian restaurant because I was overdressed and we ended up going to some um shisha place but it's fine he was so shy he was so sweet and he's wearing glasses and he was driving where is he why did I remove him I remember I was in the car thinking like no what am I doing here like he's this is too good to be true this is too hey this guy was so shy but so respectful we went on a date that was cool it was a bit awkward because you know first time meeting each other I'm still trying to stick to the whole like uni thing trying to find my uni husband so I was already on that right path as I thought because I was on and off with him and I wasn't really like interested in him <sighs> like we didn't really speak and then um valentine's day he took me out he took me to bowling um it was so cute guys because we lived right next to each other like i don't think you understand it was so cute and i'm thinking right like the sh i can see the shyness has you know you removed itself so he's feeling a bit comfortable and i'm feeling comfortable but i'm in my head like bowling like this date guys actually felt so cool like we was talking and getting to know each other but i'll go on a couple dates with some guys and they're just talking about themselves or they would make sexual remarks and ask me what's your body count how many guys have you slept with all right, all right so like what are you trying to go are you trying to go here to or are you trying to do? <laughs> shut up so obviously we're on this date now bowling he's come behind me you know them you know how to move he's asked me like can i show you like he's asked for consent i said baby girl do whatever you want take me and him took me oh, that night just felt so magical i don't know if because it was on valentine's day if you're seeing this year come back to me man actually i want you and i'm sorry no no he shouldn't come back to you you removed him out of your life and now he's moved on to something possibly better that's the problem with you women right now you sit and kick away the guys that are actually good courting you, treating you like a lady. And you let the bad boys run through you. And after the bad boys finish up running through you, you want to go back to the finish line and wait for the good guy to come back. That's, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. 
have some things that I need to work on. But I will work on it whilst I'm with you. Yeah? My love a long time. So he drops me home and I'm like, oh, like, I hope he kisses me, guys. I was like, I hope this guy kisses me because I watch too many movies. <laughs> it's given high school musical. And I was like, yeah, thank you for the days. And I thank you. Like, it was nice, like, seeing you again. Um, I'm going to message you and, like, you know, sort out, like, the next arrangements because I'm trying to take you out after. Such a nice, cute boy. I'm like, okay, it's okay, take care. And then I left and I'm like, <laughs> he didn't give me a little smoochy smooch then as i'm walking he shouts my name helen and i'm like yeah <laughs> he's gonna kiss me he's gonna kiss me through the phone see me later on let's stop the damn video right there we ain't got no more we don't got time for all that sappy crap the moral of the story is you think that guys wanted you or the bad boys you think they wanted you or they possibly did want you because you were a little bit heavy you are a 400 pounder, possibly, I don't know, maybe a 300 pounder, but you're still heavy. They were actually beating up your busted EM, getting the buns. Then you have this good guy that's actually courting you, treating you nice, and you end up curving him. Hold this L for life. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.